We have a story here that I guarantee you nobody else is going to cover and they're certainly not going to break it down in the way that I'll break it down for you in a second. But it's, one, hilarious, and two, there, there's a serious angle to this also. So Newt Gingrich was on his show on CNN that he does with S.E. Cup, Van Jones, and the rest of them, at Crossfire, and he's going to try really hard to sound cool. The debate that they're having is on Hillary Clinton's recent gaffe, or actually multiple gaffes, about how her and Bill were broke when they left the White House, and how they're not truly well off, and recently Bill swooped in to try to back up Hillary's comments, and he was like, no, it's factually true that we were broke when we left the White House. I'm not going to get into that now. You already know my position on this. So, listen to the references that Gingrich makes while discussing this. This is not some clever Republican plot. I wish they had clever... You have to understand the the problem Bill has. (laughs) Bill is... Bill is to... Bill is to politics what Fred Astaire was to dancing. He's just automatically amazing. Good. And he he wants to have a Ginger Rogers is out there dancing just as Fred Astaire did. Instead, it's a little bit like watching Kim Kardashian get kicked off the set by Prince because she couldn't dance. And so he takes several days in a row going, come on, honey, you can do it. And he watches her go out there, and she goes, whoomph. I think he's and also, so today like- he's, he stood up courageously. It's nice that she was in the audience <laughs> studying him. I hope she learned a little bit about how to do this. But I just think there's a big problem because I don't think, as a candidate, that she well, dances very well. well I think there's yeah. a, couple, a couple things going on. Kim Kardashian and Prince. Okay, I know a lot more about pop culture than Newt fucking Gingrich. I didn't know that in 2011, apparently, Prince kicked Kim Kardashian off the stage during a concert because she wouldn't dance. In fact, the article where they mentioned this, uh, they had to show the video clip of that happening so people would know the reference that Gingrich is making there, and it still really doesn't even make sense within the context of the conversation. So do you think he really just came up with that off the top of his head? There is no way that he really knew about that situation, and it's a casual reference that he would make in conversation. He was told to say that by somebody, probably the producers, who know that their ratings suck, and they think that somehow making more pop culture references is going to make people watch the show, which it's not. But did you hear the other reference to... He said, the dancer Fred Astaire. I had no idea who that was. I looked him up when I heard him make that reference. This dude was born in the 1890s, and he died in 1987, before I was born. So here's the question. Who the fuck watching CNN is going to get both of those references? I got news for you, Newt. The people who know about Kim Kardashian are not the same people who know who the fuck Fred Astaire is. And then he also mentions Ginger Rogers. Like, look, maybe I'm the person who's ignorant in this respect, but I didn't. I had to look up these people. I don't know who the fuck he's talking about. So what you're seeing there is Newt Gingrich relying on his own references from his own generation roughly 1643, and Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, and in his mind, he's like, oh, everybody knows who they are. They're big stars, because Newt Gingrich is fucking ancient, and he farts dust. So he's relying on his references, but then he's also trying to work in the shit that either S.E. Cup or, you know, one of the producers told him about, oh, ref- uh, say Kim Kardashian and Prince, if you want to make the dancing analogy, oh, the people will get that, that makes sense. He's mixing this whole mesh of awkwardness that's oozing from the TV screen. And the bottom line is this, man, they're trying way too hard to be cool. And did you notice how the rest of them tried to boost up Gingrich's point when he mentions Kim Kardashian? Like, S.E. Cup's looking around at the audience like, Oh, no, he didn't. Did you get that, guys? 
I told him to say that. I told him to reference Kim Kardashian and Prince in that whole situation. Ah, see? Nude, he's cool. He's with it. I'm hip. I'm with it. Tuck, 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 tuck. Nude, stop, man. That entire show, it, it, it's crashing and burning. And it is, it, it makes me cringe every time it's on. Well, the ratings are horrible, as we've gone over a thousand times. But there's, like, no redeeming factors about it. Who wants to hear Newt Gingrich and Essie Cup speak? Never mind, look, uh, Van Jones, I'm sure I agree with him on many, many things, but he's not the most dynamic speaker. And what's the other one? Stephanie Cutter worked for the Obama administration. Yeah, you're going to get a real progressive view out of her. I mean, it's just a massive joke. Look, CNN needs to stay in their lane, know what their job is, which is to do news and get data and facts out to people and educate them about the world. And if they understood how to stay in their lane and how to get ratings, they could, they could do fantastic, you know? And what I mean by that is they should be vice. They should be vice. Vice, they know how to do actual news that interests people because the world is a fucking interesting place. You can go to a, you can go send a camera crew to the conflict in Syria or go to some, I don't know, uh, sneak into North Korea like they did. I mean, there are so many different stories. Go live with the fundamentalist sect for a, a few months and record everything and do a documentary like that. There are so many things in the world that are fucking fascinating and Vice knows how to say, hey, here are the facts about the world and isn't it really interesting? And they exploded in popularity. Meanwhile, what's CNN doing? They have on the former Speaker of the House from the 90s to make references about Fred Astaire dancing and Kim Kardashian and Prince trying to act cool in the most disingenuous way possible while the audience fucking falls asleep.